Friends, Jimmy LaRose here with Marcus Stern, and welcome back to The Fundraising Farmer. You know, one of the hallmarks of the nonprofit sector is that we spend ourselves in service to others. So many of you have left different careers and made certain personal choices that allow you to get out of yourself and into the needs of other people, and all for the purpose of advancing the common good. Well, I think nonprofits got it down as it relates to giving themselves away to the people that they serve, the object of their program or services. But what does it look like for us to give ourselves away to our internal team? Whether it's a volunteer or it's a staff member, an executive, a board member, or a donor, what does it look like to be as generous with them as we are the individuals that we serve? We have Marcus Stern here with us today, and Marcus has committed his career to organizational development for nonprofits. With OD in place, you're actually able to create that generous culture, which allows you to give not only to those individuals that you're serving, but as well to the team that you've been entrusted with. Marcus, tell us a little bit about this generous living. Thanks, Jimmy. As leaders, one of our responsibilities is learning to lead the generous life in our organization, hmm. massaging into that deep tissue the philosophy of generosity and how we do what we do, lightening the burden of the organizational load, That's shouldering good. it together. One of the ways we can do that is by identifying the unique gifts and abilities that every individual of our organization has, taking those unique gifts and abilities and aligning them with the great needs of the organization. Once we do that, we can truly lighten that load and shoulder it together. Marcus, it would seem then that the next right step involves understanding what our giftings are and understanding what our, our need is. Absolutely. As leaders, if we commit the right resources into identifying the great need of the organization and identifying every individual person's unique gifts and abilities and what they can contribute to the organization, we're just one step closer to creating that culture of generosity. Well, I love the idea of, of generous living, uh, whether it's the people that we're serving as a result of our mission or the individuals that have been entrusted to our care to accomplish that mission. And it just seems so merciful. Let's find out what our need is and let's plug in the right people to meet that need and let's do it together. Absolutely. You know, it's so basic, but uh, I'm afraid quite often the nonprofits that we're involved in may not be taking that approach. So thanks for joining us on The Fundraising Farmer. I'm Jimmy LaRose. Thanks for being with us today.